so let us see the principles of risk management before looking into the actual process of risk management let us see what are the various principles of risk management so to list the various principles first is organizational context next is involvement of stakeholders organizational objectives reporting roles and responsibilities support structure early warning indicators review cycle supportive culture and continual improvement so these are the various principles of risk management let us see in brief about the principles of risk management so first of all the organizational context so basically every organization is affected by various factors environmental factors or social factors political factors technological factors so out of that there are also various communication channels internal cultures and risk management procedures so the risk management should therefore able be able to add value and be an integral part of the organizational process so basically when we see the risk management through organizational context the in the risk management process must be integrated with the organizational structure and organizational context along with the environment or the basically the system of the organization so the, org the risk management process must be in context with the system of the organization next is involvement of stakeholders the risk management process should involve the stakeholders at each and every step of decision making all the stakeholders should remain aware of even the smallest or even the minor decisions what are made with the processes or with respect to the risk management it is also very important to understand how it is important the role of stakeholders during the risk management process what changes in the processes will be affecting the stakeholders whether it is will be beneficial whether there will be any adverse effect of the changes in the risk management process so basically all the changes with respect to the risk management must be in, informed to the stakeholders next is the organizational objective so when dealing with the risk it is important to keep the organizational objective in mind important part of the risk management is basically to address the uncertainty so the risk management process whenever it is carried out it should understand the organizational objective and the process also must be in correspondence with the organizational objective so that what are the risks or what are the uncertainties are there in the organization that will be addressed and will be rectified next is reporting in risk management communication is very important so the authenticity of information or the whatever communications or decisions are made must be available to the stakeholders must be available to the personals or staff in the organization so it is very important to communicate all the changes or to communicate all the information in the risk management to all the stakeholders of the organization or it should be appropriately communicated within the organization next is the roles and responsibilities in the risk management so risk management has to be very transparent and it should be inclusive it should take into account the human factors and ensure the importance of role of each person at each stage of the risk management process and the responsibilities of every person in the organization next objective of the risk management is the support structure support structures is the most important in the risk management team the team members must be dynamic diligent responsive to changes they should be flexible mindset of the personals involved in the risk management should be acceptive should be receptive and they should be able to respond to changes made during the risk management process each and every member should understand his intervention at each stage of the project in the risk management life cycle next objective is the early warning indicator so basically to keep track of early signs of risk translating into active problems so so it is very important to keep track of early signs of risk that can translated into an actual problem so this can be achieved through continual communication by one and all at each level it is important to enable and empower each to deal with the threat as well as harm at each level and at each function next objective of the risk management is the review cycle keep evaluating at each step of risk management process identify risk assess risk respond it appropriately and review it at appropriate intervals so you will see there are different observations at each cycle of the risk management review 
so during this review you need to identify the reasonable interventions and remove the unnecessary interventions which are done or which are not anymore required next risk management objective is supportive culture so this is again a part of organizational structure or organizational system so for supportive culture you need to brainstorm enable a culture of questioning discussing there should be a lot of discussion at each stage there should be a brainstorming all the suggestions must be welcome this will motivate people to participate more and it will improve the actual involvement of the each personals at each level of the risk management process and finally the last objective in the risk management is the continual improvement so be capable of improving and enhancing your risk management strategies and tactics use your learning to assess the way you look at and manage ongoing risk so during this continual improvement we need to assess the risk at each stage and to review it after making actual interventions so at continual improvement will be made at each stage of the risk management and finally the risk or the uncertainty can be removed from the organizational processes so these are all 10 risk management principles we have seen in this lecture next for more on risk management stay tuned with this lecture series on risk management thank you